So, effects in GarageBand. How do you add them? What are they? So, to add an effect, you go to Settings, Track Control, and then here, you can have regular effects in your plugins by pressing Edit, Add, and then choose whatever you want. Reverb, Echo, Vocal Transformer, what does it do actually? Okay, Pitch, hmm. Okay, so that's that. But also, something else you can do is you go all the way above. You go to the top, you see Audio Recorder, press that, and there are some funny vocal effects like telephone effect or chipmunk or whatever. But then you also have vocal effects here. The effects you see here are some presets for your vocals. So do you want like lead vocals, do you want a pop sound, do you want distortion, an extra singer? Actually I want to... oh! Na, 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 na. Na, 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 oh wow, it actually does give you an extra singer. Okay, and heavy distortion, what does that do? Na, 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 na. The distortion. Na, 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 na. So, those are some effects for your voice in GarageBand. It doesn't have to be so hard or difficult or a long video like I usually do. Let's take Bullhorn. It's the same. Those are some basic effects for vocals in GarageBand. There are also a bunch of instrumental effects and if you want to know what those are, click the subscribe button to stay tuned. Here are some tutorials, here are some original songs. BAM! Peace! What's up people? It's your boy Viper! What's up people? This your boy Viper, the man about to... Good morning, good evening, wherever you're at. I don't even know how to say hi. It's starting so well. <laughs>